I had somebody pull their penis out and saw a little pinky. I think my pinky was a little bit long. Erect? Erect. That must be up, yo. I couldn't believe his with that smile. Did y'all yeah. proceed? Uh, no. Mm. I had to use the bathroom and realize that my stomach was hurt. Because <laughs> what was I supposed to do with that? <laughs> and he was skinny. Okay. We all know women. We all know that skinny men, you know, they always come with that hammer. But this man... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Vienna. It might, it might have been, I don't know, it might have been something diagnosed. I think it's something called like a micro, micro penis. That's a real thing. Uh, he was, she was diagnosed. I ain't gonna lie. I'm glad I don't have that problem. But as a man, I sympathize with you if you have that issue. As men, we take pride in our God-given weapon. And as a man, I just can't imagine my weapon not being able to slaughter anything. Where there's a will, there's a way. You might have the micro situation, but that does not mean you can't have that Shaolin tongue. Look, why do you have the bat in your hand? Why do you have the bat in your hand? Why do you have the... No, you're not. What are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? Get the bat out of your hand. talk to the ladies first if you caught the man cheating you took him back and his cheating ways got you acting like this you need to leave you need to leave asap before you lose yourself and do something you're gonna regret this this is a two-edged sword fellas if your woman is showing hints of crazy you also need to leave if you cheated on your lady and she caught you cheating, and because you cheated in the past, her level of insecurity have risen to dangerous proportions. She's automatically going to think you're doing something that you may not even be doing because you got caught in the past. And she might react like this. You need to leave, my brother. Uh, can y'all, like, show me that dance? We all be like, they be like, make me sweat, make me water, make me lose my... No, that thing ain't just out here clapping without no goddamn... What? Oh, my God. This got a Tesla. She got a Tesla. It's out here driving itself. Ain't... Nope. You know what? <laughs> You're married. You are married. Just leave it alone. Oh shit, I might got I might gotta test his water. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, yeah, yeah, he ain't bluffing. <laughs> he ain't bluffing. I couldn't be a mailman, I couldn't be an Amazon driver, I couldn't be a UPS driver, I couldn't do none of that courier services because I am petrified of dogs petrified i hate being around people when they don't have their dog on the leash do you know how disrespect i don't care how big or how small your dog is bro you know how disrespectful you it is to see me in fear and you think it's funny then you over there talking to your dog like he could understand english when did dogs start speaking English? Stop. Stop. Bad dog. Ba this is probably why I'm going to be single. Forever. Not really by choice. It's not about being insecure. It's about staying the f*** in your lane. Because honestly, when it comes to the whole finding a wife thing, a lot of men want women to cook and clean. And I'm just like not going to cook and clean. Cook. Like, I've been eating canned tuna for the past 15 years of my f***ing life. I'm not cooking for myself. Why the f*** am I gonna cook for you so I get why you would not want to choose a woman like me to be your wife I, I don't really look like a wife either I'm, I'm pretty I get it 
thanks to mom and dad shout out to big g but like i am not prim and proper I'm not gonna be a trophy wife okay uh my hair highlights yeah that's the most type of upkeep that i do i don't even shave my legs i go months without shaving my legs so i don't i, I, I am a dj okay travel the world i get paid to party i'm around men no one's gonna take me seriously no man that wants an ambitious woman they lie women with ambition are women that can't be controlled you have a voice your voice gives an opinion men don't like women to have opinions so in conclusion amongst a lot of other things i just feel like i'm gonna be single forever not because of me not choosing men but because men not choosing me because clearly i just don't make the cut i saw this this feed and i had commented but listening to it again right she's right and in her comment section, it was dudes really coming at her neck. But at the same time, like, why get angry at her for taking accountability and understanding that who she is wouldn't be a man's first choice? She wouldn't be my first choice based on the fact that you get paid to party. I would never try to wife a woman that get paid to party, bro. I'm sorry. That's just not... No, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. And at one point, I used to say that I don't care about if you cook for me or this, that, and the third. But right now, the place where I'm at in my life, when I come home from a hard day's work, I want some food ready, bro. I'm sorry. I never, like, I swear to God, I never saw the point of that. Like, I never understood. I used to be like, yo, bro, why you can't cook for yourself? Like, why you want a servant? But I promise you, once you start taking care of things, bro, you start paying the household bills, you start making sure... Your, your wife straight, your kids straight. Ain't no way you gonna come from a hard day's work and still have to prepare your food, yo. You you gonna you gonna feel some type of way. I know I have. But if I come in this joint and ain't no food ready, bro, oh, I'm in my feelings. That's important. And you ain't finna be giving me no fucking canned food, bitch. I ain't, I ain't no cat. This ain't, ain't, this ain't no Purina puppy child. I ain't no dog. I ain't your pet. Like, nah. So what's the fastest car you've been in before this? I was in a Rari. I was in a Lambo. <clears throat> okay. She just hurt my man feelings. <laughs> she shut him all the way down. I was in a Rari. I was in a Lambo. Hey, talk about cars, man. Talk about cars. Shout out to all my Mopar owners out here man we really risking our lives to drive them cars i am this close to trading my car in i am this close to trading my car in because i be on the edge with this car bro i did something the other day and it was because i was paranoid because i thought somebody was trying to steal my car that made me look at myself and wonder if it's worth it and the crazy thing is my car isn't even that my car isn't even that expensive like it's not like i have a, a freaking lamborghini or a ferrari like, it's camrys out there that cost more than my car but yet still driving around in that car puts a target on my back how old are you 20 20 where you from Venezuela. Dominican. If I wanted to take you on a first date, Venezuela. where would you want to go? Somewhere we can talk and get to know each other. Ooh. Like, not the movies, because yeah. we won't talk, you know? Or drinking. Oh, like I, I like a club now. What if I said, uh, let's have a movie night at home and drink wine and cook dinner? Fuck you. <laughs> Why not be all right? Do you find a man attractive? I don't, I don't care if he's attractive. I have met very... Attractive men that have a peanut in his mind. So, you know. Well, what do you think a man is expecting when he says, "Come over, let's do that"? To f the girl. It's to f her. But is that a bad expectation to have? If you are looking for that, it's not. But if you're looking for something serious, it's like it, it takes away all the magic. If you ask me, like what I'm looking for. I will never say that I will go on a first date to a man's house to watch a movie. That's not my type, but if someone does, that's totally okay, you know? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. If you come to my place of residence, <laughs> I want the cheeks. Now, of course, I'm not gonna force you to give me the cheeks because... I ain't trying to be a part of these people Me Too movement, but I'm just letting you know, I'm informing you that if you come to my place of residence, I'm going to test the waters. 
I'm going to test the waters. It's crazy I'm saying this, but you can tell what a dude's agenda is based on if he wants to take you out. Nah, I can't even say that, bro. It's dudes out here that would really spend that bread just to crack once. So, yeah, I can't even, I can't even say that. I can't even say that. So hard to explain, but living in Atlanta gives off the same energy as posting on Instagram. To the point where almost every interaction with people almost feels fake, fake. or unnatural. Yes. People are trying to keep up with a certain aesthetic. Yes. So you don't even really get the real version of somebody when you meet them. So when people say Atlanta is not a real place, I feel like it's because it gives off like social media vibes, like Instagram vibes. I don't know what y'all think. As my time progressed and me living out here and start, you know, I started working at the mall, then I started going out to the clubs more. I realized that like faking it till you make it is big out here. Everybody wants to be on social media. Everybody is on social media. And a lot of the things people do is for social media. But you know what? Before social media, things was fake too. Because I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going to explain this to you, right? This is how fake shit was before. This is how, this how fake things was before. You would go out. I don't know, bro. You, you would go out, you know, mind your own business. You might spark a conversation with a stranger or, or a stranger might spark a conversation with you. They find out you do music and all of a sudden they'll say something like, oh yeah, um, I know T.I. Like, I can get you into the door with T.I. Now, I know T.I. ain't the biggest name in music right now, but I'm giving an example of something that happened to me a few years ago when T.I. was one of the biggest names in music in Atlanta. I'm out. Minding my business. I think I was playing basketball, bro. And the topic came up that I did music. Random dude, bro. Now, again, I'm minding my business. Get to telling me how he can get me a studio session with T.I. Because T.I. is his cousin. Now, me being fresh from New York, I didn't believe him. Because, you know, in New York, you you real skeptical about people, son. So, I didn't really believe him. But it sounded believable. I didn't really believe him, but it sounded believable. So I gave it a chance. Come to find out it was some bullshit. Did he know T.I.? No. Has he been around T.I.? Yes. Is T.I. his cousin? No. The man met T.I. at a function, took some pictures with him, and he was using that as leverage to say that T.I. was his cousin. And like he basically was using that to network with people. And that's the thing you got to be very careful about when you come into Atlanta. People will sell you dreams. Plus, she says she don't be shaving her legs. So that means that it's a forest down there. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all might hate me for what I'm about to say. But listen, we not in the Amazon. I'm, I'm, listen. That Amazon rainforest is a turn off for me. I'm I'm being I'm I'm telling the truth. That Amazon rainforest is a turn off for me. Cut the trees down. Okay? Cut the trees down. Trim the hedges. Do what you need to do. Hire lawn service. I'm I, I, I don't like that. That Jones is a turn off for me, bro. I don't, I don't like Harry Coochies.